Here's the Crucial X9 portable SSD. This one is one terabyte of memory and it can go up to 1050 megabyte per second for reading and writing. This is looking really small also. So let's do the unboxing. Yeah, it is really small. Inside the box you have only one cable, all that you need. You have the drive here, the Crucial X9. Some information here, you can scan the QR code in order to get that. So this is one of those drives, it is really small. One terabyte is big enough. And you can store a lot of things inside. The speed is also very good. It does have a decent speed. You can do video editing directly on this drive. 1000 megabyte per second is not really bad. It's pretty much standard if you want to do stuff directly on your SSD. Here's the X9 by Crucial. This is the USB-C port here. And definitely it is really small, tiny drive. So it is small. This is very good if you want to travel. You travel with your drive. This one has a perfect size. Really small, good to carry around, doesn't take space. And it is going to work on your MacBook and also it will work on a Windows PC. It will work also on Android devices and also on the recently released iPhones with USB-C. So let's try the Android device and also the iPhones in order to see how it does. Make sure that you keep this cable. This cable is the one that is going to provide up to 1000 megabytes per second. Using a regular cable might not provide that much speed. I'm going to try the crucial drive and see how it does. You can see right here it appeared crucial X9 and I am inside the file application. These are a few files that are inside the drive currently, but none of them applies to my iPhone. So right here, I can start transferring videos, pictures directly on this Crucial X9 and use the same Crucial X9 to recover all those pictures on a MacBook or a Windows PC. Definitely a really good device in order to travel. And also the size is what I think is the best. It's really small, the speed is good also. So here is one of my video, it is 2.3 gigabytes of size. I'm going to copy, go back here, go to the Crucial X9 and paste the video here. Depending on the size of the video, it will take a few seconds or a few minutes. Right now the video has been copied on the Crucial X9. I can play the video and scrub on the video timeline, you can see it is very responsive. So the 1000 megabyte per second read and write speed is plenty enough for you to play on your iPhone or use it on an Android device. You can see the size compared to a regular memory SD and here you have a very standard USB flash drive or USB drive. This is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. issue with Micron USB drive, tap to fix. So using the drive on an Android device, you will need to format the drive. I think the drive has been formatted already and is on APFS format, which is why it is working on an iPhone. But if you want the drive to work on the Android device, you will have to format it into XFAT. XFAT format is going to work on Android and also on iPhones. So I can just format the drive and you will see how long it takes to format everything. It's just done. Then I go back here, storage added. This is the Crucial X9 here and here is the Crucial X9.
you can see it here usb storage one so now that the drive has been formatted and working on an android device i can simply try it on an iphone and see if it works most likely the drive has been formatted into xfat format which is also compatible with the iphone so it is taking longer than usual apfs format is the preferred format for ios devices which is why it was really fast the first time here i believe it will not work the android device must have formatted the crucial x9 into a format that is not supported on iphone or ios devices so in order to resolve that you can format the crucial x9 into apfs and also xfat format but generally if it is on xfat it will work on iphone and also on android device and that include also windows pc and macbook devices nevertheless if you need to format the drive you can simply do it on your macbook pro or your windows pc this is a really good drive the speed is decent 1000 megabyte per second and also the size it's really small easy to carry around 